So from a fish finding standpoint, these units uh, have all the, the main features you'd expect just in the main menu here. If you want to adjust anything, you can hit the adjust and then it'll bring up that menu to the left and you can make your changes. So over here we have an auto gain control. You can select auto or manual and then adjust that accordingly. We have auto intensity as well. I think I got my gain a little too high there. One thing I have found it just by playing with this, they, they, there is a lot of adjustment available and uh, it looks like these units are gonna perform very well in, um, in the manual mode. You can also adjust the surface clarity right there. And then if you, you do set it up, you don't like how you've got it, you wanna kinda of start fresh from where the unit sees fit, there's an all auto and you can just tap that and then it'll take everything back to auto. Okay, and then down through the menu here, you have your gear icons, which is your main settings. So we can go through in here, we can change our color palette to you know whatever you like there. You can put an amplitude scope on or off. Um, and then you can adjust how the returns show up, whether in the center. There's also a cone one, which is actually kind of cool. I like that one. Then you have all your features down here that you'd expect. Set up your transducer in there. We have our sounder adjustments here. Enable, uh, ping enable, you can turn off your sounder if you want to go up to the front to fish. And then also your page settings here. And this is this will be available on all the screens. You can edit your overlays and they've done an excellent job at this. You can just move them around wherever you like. If you want to add something, you can just go to add. We'll put our heading on there. Now we've got our heading, we can move that around. If we long press it, we can go to resize and then select the size. And just set that up however you like. So that made this system really, really easy to use. When you've done that, just hit done and then you're back to your main screen there. So this is all chirp sonar and you can see how detailed it, it is. The only thing I found that was missing that I'd really like to see is a traditional um, background. It's found on the Lowrance products where the uh, it's a white background with the uh, typical Lowrance coloring. I think that would be definitely beneficial to have on these units as Hummingbird has it and Garmin as well. And uh, it seems to be kind of the standard color palette that uh, most inland fishermen use. Now in the top left corner, we've got this waypoint button right here. We can mark waypoints, brings up our little menu here to go ahead and change the symbol to whatever we want. So that's nice and quick access on all the different um, pages that you have. As you can see, there's quite a few icons to select from there. So the side vision on these units is chirp. It's wide spectrum chirp, and uh, it's very, very clear. Very good image of bottom detail. Down in the bottom right corner here, we have this button, which will allow us to quickly select what we want to view. We can do right only, left only, or then just our, our left and right at the same time. And again, just like all the other menus, we got our setting adjustment from that uh, menu in the bottom. And then our main settings here. And the nice thing about these units, every single menu is basically the, the same information for what you're gonna have on all the different screens. You can choose your color palette. You can choose what's selectable on the unit, color threshold, scroll speed. You can choose your transducer. And again, turning the unit on or off, this, the sonar ping right there, and your page settings. Okay, and down vision is chirp as well, and it's uh, very detailed, just like we have on the side imaging. Anytime we can get chirp into the imaging products, definitely makes a huge difference on them. Menu selections are the same. The only thing I would like to see in the imaging products on these units is more color selection, especially a blue color selection. That's the only thing I found that was kind of lacking here.